They thought he would quit. They thought they could bring a bunch of people, 15 people, not put under oath with a bunch of supposition and guesses and mites and maybes, and they thought he would quit. The Texas Tribune, the Dallas Morning News, the Houston Chronicle, they thought he would quit. He did not quit. He did not quit. And he will not quit. Let's talk about the burden of proof. That is super important here. And I want you, senators, please, to look at your screen and look at the burden of proof. Beyond a reasonable doubt. Beyond a reasonable doubt. That means, that means that you have no doubts that are reasonable. No doubts. That is an incredibly high burden. Can you imagine if we were in any criminal court in the United States that this case would not have already been dismissed based on what we've heard from this witness stand? This case would not, we would not be in final argument. This case would be over. But this is not a criminal trial. This is a political trial. I would suggest to you this is a political witch hunt. I would suggest to you that this has, this trial has displayed for the country to see a partisan fight within the Republican Party. Let's just call it for what it is. That's what we're seeing here. It's being played out on TVs across the country. There is a battle for power. Because there's no doubt that these folks did not prove a case. They didn't prove a preponderance. They didn't prove anything other than they don't like Ken Paxton. 